Greetings, this is Father Michael with our Word of the Week. This week's word is Wonder Bread. The staple of our youth lunches was a sandwich made out of pure white bread, or sometimes called Wonder Bread. Although we don't have any in stock here at the Priory, we've got the stuff, this uh, flour that provides, if you will, the essential ingredient uh, to that. And growing up, we'd always have, you know, the classic white bread sandwich with peanut butter and jelly, bologna, salami, and if we were lucky, a thin slice of that American cheese on it. And that was what we grew up on and gave us fuel for the day, if you will. Today we celebrate Corpus Christi Sunday. That Sunday on that miraculous Eucharistic miracle that happened in the 13th century that gave rise to a renewed devotion of the Blessed Sacrament. This year we celebrate a jubilee church-wide, universally, in order to highlight of the great mystery and the great power of the Eucharist in our life. Today on Corpus Christi Sunday, I just want to talk about the Eucharist as Wonder Bread, <laughs> as Wonder Bread. It's interesting, if you look at the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, if you look at the original Greek, the uh, Koine Greek, which the oldest papyri that we have, traces for us a very unique moment. When Jesus says, give us this day our daily bread, that word daily in English is the translation of a curious word, epiousion, E-P-I-O-U-S-I-O-N, epiousion. It was translated in English uh, by the uh, Protestant Reformation and by the King James Bible as daily, and indeed was taken in as a sense of something we receive every day, the Word of God, that sense of God's Word as being nourishment for us. But it's interesting because that word epiousion is used nowhere else in all of Scripture. And Scripture talks about a lot of daily things, uses the word daily. And so the word epiousion is not really daily. In fact, St. Jerome, who translated the Bible famously into Latin, and St. Augustine, who had his own translations, both agree <laughs> They don't always agree when it comes to tr scripture translations. They both agree that this unique word, epiousion, found nowhere else in scripture, and in fact is the only adjective anywhere in the Lord's prayer. In other words, the Lord used all nouns and other parts of speech until he wanted to describe the bread that he was going to give. Epiousion, epi mean above, usion being translated as super substantial by St. Jerome, by St. Augustus, by Cyril, by many of the church fathers saw what Jesus was talking about in the Lord's Prayer, not just as ordinary daily bread, but to the contrary, super substantial bread, bread that allows us to be fueled for all of our life. It's interesting, if you look at the Catechism of the Catholic Church, it does have daily as one of the possible understandings of this epiousion, this, this sense of what the Eucharist gives us. But modern scripture has looked at it and said daily is, in fact, probably not the right translation. It disagrees with the Reformers that way. It's not comfortable with the Latin super substantial. And so there's all sorts of different attempts in modern translations to try to give us insight into what kind of bread Jesus was talking about. And so they'll use words or phrases like essential bread, like bread which is endless, which gives of itself, almost like bottomless chips at the, the uh, cantina, or a sense of bread for the future, food for the journey, evocative perhaps of uh, the Eucharist we receive during the anointing of the sick, or at last rites, extreme unction. There's a sense in which this bread, which is being spoken about by Jesus, indeed gives us what we need for that particular moment, and it can be different according to whatever circumstance we need it. I suggest that perhaps a dynamic but contemporary translation might be best wonder bread. <laughs> Give us to stay our wonder bread, that bread which does what? Opens our minds and our heart to the reality of God's presence within us, causing us to wonder, not necessarily 
comprehend who God is in our life or necessarily see clearly every choice to be made, but enter into the wonder of God's love to remain faithful and courageous in the midst of persecution or oppression, to be bold in proclaiming and sharing our faith with that sense of joy in our lives, to be able to not do the easy thing, but the right thing when push comes to shove. The Eucharist which we receive Sunday after Sunday, and for those who come to daily Mass, day after day is this wonder bread, bread which is food for our journey, bread which is a foretaste of the heavenly presence of God, bread which we need every day, and yet which gives us super strength, super virtue to be loving, courageous, generous, and grateful. May during this year of the Holy Eucharist, may this Corpus Christi Sunday truly open our minds and our hearts to the wonder bread of our lives, to the love that God gives us, and to the presence of His nourishment in our lives. Amen. Amen. If you're enjoying these videos, do like, comment, subscribe. Also go to our website. May the Lord indeed radiate in your life and may we radiate the joy of the gospel here in the heart of the city.